The flying snow and strong winds are also causing another problem. They're covering up traffic lights. Paul Kiska is live on 5 in Parma. Paul, this is causing a major safety concern today. It really is, Lee, and it's exactly during this type of snowstorm where you have the wind-driven snow where this problem is created with these newer LED lights. You didn't have this problem with the old incandescent lights that hit 90 degrees and, and melt the snow. Now with these cooler LED lights, they get clogged with the snow. They can't melt the snow. That creates issues out there. And now one city is admitting something needs to be done. Running a red light. Another driver runs a red light. And they probably didn't even know. I, mean, I can't tell if it's green, yellow, or red. A wind driven snow caked many north facing traffic lights today. LEDs stay cool and save cities money, but LEDs do not melt snow like hot incandescent lights. All the snow is coming from the north and actually hitting the lenses on it, and the LED lights actually are not melting the. You can't see the traffic lights at all. Car after car blew right through the snow covered red light at Snow and Hummel Roads in Brook Park. Nearby workers saw it near misses today and worry about crashes. I seen two or three vehicles just keep continuing going through, horns blowing. I almost hit a snow plow truck out here about 10 minutes ago. They're all dangerous, that's all. You know, with the new lights, can't see them when the sun's too bright. When there's snow on them, everything else. So. Well, sometimes also when it's sunny out, you can also see it from the glare, from the light. Because under the lens, it's got to be like plastic or something else. It's not like the old days when actually when the snow hits it, it it'll melt the snow off of it. After I contacted the city about this intersection, workers cleared the snow from the traffic light. But so many cities are switching to cool LEDs. But today, Bess Vredos, the administrative assistant for the city of Brook Park, told me, quote, we are aware of the limitations of LED traffic lights. They don't heat up enough to melt snow. It's now under evaluation. We are always looking to improve safety for our community. Now, other cities in the country have had similar issues. Uh, they're starting to use shields, uh, heat sensors, uh, looking for other ways to improve safety at these LED traffic lights. And uh, in Green Bay, they actually go out manually like they did here today and clear all of the traffic lights. But that takes up a lot of time. Live from Brook Park tonight, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5. Certainly for something uh, for drivers to be aware of as well. Paul, thanks so much.